Hey, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please uh, be seated. And please uh, mute, mute your phone uh, if uh, the, 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 the voice uh, the sound is off. Okay. So yeah, uh, thank you very much uh, for coming uh, to the uh, Compound Semiconductor Weekend at House. Uh, it's a beautiful Saturday morning, and uh, and we really appreciate uh, all of your coming, especially uh, our president Connie Chan, uh, the director uh, uh, from IITR, and also the council general uh, of India and China, who is coming very soon. Uh, but we'll, we'll start right now. And uh, uh, first, first of all, I would like to welcome uh, our president Tony Chan to give a welcome speech. <laughs> Good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, I want to say hello to the, uh, His Excellency, uh, the Council General, uh, Mo Sahid Alam, who's supposedly on his way uh, any time. Also, Professor Ajit, who is on the screen, uh, welcome. Uh, and also guests from uh, different IITs and uh, also Saudi universities, uh, including, of course, my uh, council colleagues faculty, researchers, students. So welcome to the Cows Compound Semiconductor Weekend and to this beautiful Saturday morning by the Red Sea, the Red Sea is where So since the invention of transistor 75 years ago, semiconductor chips have arguably become the most crucial physical foundation of the third and the fourth industrial revolutions. Unless you've been sleeping, you must know that the world depends on semiconductors. And there's a big shortage, right? You know that. It is central to the operation of most essential systems of modern society, including phones, internet, data center, automobiles, spacecraft, your laptop, everything, your iPhone. So over the past decades, the ever-progressing semiconductor technologies have not only redefined the way we work and live, but also drastically enhanced the energy efficiencies of key human activities and open new ways of harnessing renewable energies. Now these remarkable impacts are the results of relentless investment in the research and development, where notably numerous breakthroughs were rooted in university research. Since uh, 2020, however, because of the pandemic partially, uh, semiconductors have once again entered the spotlight. But this time, it is because of the global shortage of chips that I refer to, that has crippled supply chain worldwide and impact the life and livelihoods of billions of people. Moreover, seismic chips of major industries, including automobile communication and computing demand, disruptive chips that are much more efficient, robust, and powerful than the status quo. These recent events and trends highlight the strategic importance of semiconductor global, but also emerging opportunities for transformative impacts in the region here, in the Middle East, in particular in Saudi Arabia. Since uh, our establishment, CALS has become a hotbed of innovation, clustering dozens of leading faculty and hundreds of researchers, developing cutting-edge semiconductor technologies for a multitude of applications. They are supported by advanced nanofabrication and characterization facilities of our core laboratories, we call core labs. So you'll hear from the director uh, in a moment. Now more recently, CALS has organized uh, a forum in Riyadh called the Future of Semiconductors, together with uh, our sister in institution called CACS, uh, and also with the new Research Development and Innovation Authority. So you'll hear more about this. Uh, even in Saudi Arabia, it's just emerging. It's called the RDI A for authority. Okay. Uh, the forum uh, today, we we think, uh, that forum. I mean, that forum in uh, at CAX was ideally timed to focus on national strategic plan for advanced manufacturing and technological capability, with the goals of participating organization aligned to the overall Saudi Vision 2030. The kingdom anticipates uh, many benefits 
from localizing semiconductor technology capabilities in diverse sectors, such as the digital economy, automotive uh, industry, manufacturing, and defense. Let me pause here and mention something. You know, we are here in Cape, for those of you who are visiting, just right there, if you just drive there, if there's a road directly there, in 15 minutes, you are in another part of, of Saudi Arabia called King Abdullah Economic City. So that's where manufacturing, beyond that is a port, so where you can ship in big things. Uh, you know this uh, electrical vehicle manufacturer called Lucid? They supposedly compete with Tesla, even more upscale than Tesla. They are, they are gonna be building uh, Lucid over there. I think starting next year, okay. So this is real, what we're talking about. It's not just uh, words. But anyway, at Kaos, uh, we want to take advantage of this. So we are actively embracing the challenges and opportunities of semiconductors, including compound semiconductors, which is a topic of discussion this weekend. For example, uh, I recently charged a task force at Kaos to develop strategies for forming a semiconductor initiative at Kaos to elevate Kaos to become a world leading institute in this area. Uh, Professor Xiaohan Li here is part of that task force uh, together with several other people, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully this uh, initiative uh, uh, will benefit, will also benefit from all five pillars of Kaos. So traditionally we have five, uh, four pillars, energy, environment, food, and water. So we added the digital component. So I think someone can, can fall under digital, for sure. Uh, so the idea is that we look for synergies uh, between and among these uh, different uh, research fields. Uh, for each one of these, we have one or more than one research centers that goes uh, uh, underlying it. Anyway, in the past and also in the present, students, scientists, and engineers, and entrepreneurs from India have made remarkable contributions to the research and development of semiconductor technologies, including egg cups. I can see many faces. I was talking to some, you've been here. Uh, India also aims to invest tens of billions of US dollars in semiconductor research and manufacturing in the coming years. Uh, as a leading research university in Saudi Arabia, which is a large trading partner in India, the many Indians living in Saudi Arabia, as you know, cows is very keen to develop wider and also deeper partnership with India's renowned IITs and other institutions for semiconductor research and development. I believe that this workshop will serve as a strong bridge for those future efforts. I should add also a personal note. Uh, I've been to India several times, uh, professionally, but also as a tourist. Okay. And I visited, I think, two IITs. Uh, one in Delhi, but not in, uh, Rookie. not Rookie. I, it's supposed that Rookie is also close to Delhi if I understand, yes. okay, but anyway, uh, I visited there, I know many professional friends. IIT is very well known all over the world for its own work, but also for its uh, very famous uh, alumni. You know, people joke that the US high tech industry is run by alumni of IIT. You go to, starting with uh, Google or Microsoft all the way there. So, we're very happy to have you, uh, President, to be here. You could, maybe you can send some of your best students to Kaust. <laughs> Not only to the US. But anyway, again, welcome to KAUST. I hope you enjoy your stay and have a fruitful discussion with the many experts gathered here today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, President Tony Chai, for your wonderful and uh, warm welcome remarks. Uh, next, I would like to invite uh, Professor uh, Ajit uh, Chattavali, who is also the director of uh, IIT Rookie, Ruki, 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 uh, to give a, a, a welcome speech. Yeah. Please welcome him. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh, address the inaugural function of the compound uh, semiconductor weekend. I am extremely delighted uh, by the uh, participation of my colleague, uh, Professor Bipla Sarkar, and the invitation from Professor Ziyang Lee uh, to be a part of this uh, inaugural function. 
Uh, I can see that uh, our uh, Council General, His Excellency Shri Mohammad Shahid Alam has probably joined the event. So, uh, welcome uh, Mohammad Shahid Alam Ji and a very warm good morning to you uh, from IIT Rukhi. Uh, we all know that uh, IITs have been there for, uh, for more than 60 years now, but I am happy to share with you that IIT Rukhi has been there for now 175 years. In fact, uh, currently we are celebrating our 175th year. Uh, during this 175 year journey, uh, we have touched a very large number of countries. Of course, the entire India has been uh, touched by IIT Rukhi in the form of faculty and students from different corners of the country. But, but also we have students from uh, multiple countries. Uh, we have had different names during this course of 175 years. In 2001, uh, we became a part of the Indian Institute of Technology family. And since 2001, we are uh, known as IIT UT. Uh, today, IIT UT is just like any other large old IIT. Uh, it has more than 9,000 students. Uh, it has more than 500 faculty members. Uh, it is spread over three campuses. The, the main campus is in Rurki, which is more than 360 acres. Uh, we are divided into a large number of academic departments, more precisely 23 departments. Uh, we also have recently opened a new school of uh, data science and artificial intelligence, uh, known as the Mehta Family School for Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. We opened a new department of design. Uh, we have recently opened a new center, uh, Center for Photonics and Quantum Communication Technologies. So, uh, so we are expanding on the foundation that we already have. And uh, electronics and communication is a very integral, important part of IIT UT because uh, the topic of this workshop, that is semiconductors, is studied across multiple departments. Uh, not only in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, uh, but also in the Department of Physics and, and to some extent also in the Department of Nanotechnology and the Department of Metallurgical and Materials Engineering. So this topic is very relevant. We all know that the modern world cannot be visualized without the all pervasive influence of the chips. And the chips are basically formed from semiconductors. Uh, when, when we get up in the morning to when we go to bed, the whole day we are dabbling with multiple electronic gadgets. And in fact, uh, last one year we have been seeing that globally there has been a shortage of ship chips because of which what has happened is many industries have affected uh, more, most noticeably the automobile industry. But I was very happy to hear recently in India that uh, whatever shortage was there that had been taken care of and now the automobile industry manufacturing has come back to almost uh, normal pace. Uh, the traditional electronics industry depended on silicon. Uh, silicon was the main workhorse uh, for producing chips. But over a period of time, uh, while silicon continues to be important, uh, modern research has shown that we cannot rely only on silicon. If you want to integrate uh, photonics technology, if you want to integrate other technology, I think we have to go beyond silicon. And this is what is the topic of uh, this workshop. It's very timely, very relevant. Uh, we need to study compound semiconductors more in detail. And I'm very happy that uh, a very uh, important educational institute in Saudi Arabia, KAUST, Think Abdullah University of Science and Technology and IIT Rukhi, have uh, joined hands uh, to do this workshop. Uh, my colleague, Professor Sarkar, is already there. And uh, I, I look forward to uh, nurturing this relationship with KAUST so that uh, this could be a stepping stone uh, for many more collaborations and many more partnerships to follow. Uh, I, I, unfortunately, I could not be physically present in today's event uh, because of various other reasons. Otherwise, uh, this physical visits can have a bigger impact. I look forward to inviting the uh, team from KAUST to visit IIT Ruti and whenever possible, I will also uh, make sure that from IIT Ruti, some of us travel to KAUST to deepen our relationship uh, thanks to this workshop that has uh, sown the seeds for the partnership and we see many more years of growing partnership. With these words, I would like to uh, wish the participants of the workshop that they have very fruitful discussions the entire day. 
uh, the entire weekend and, and the effort that the organizers have put in to organize this workshop, it, it turns out to be worthwhile uh, by the enjoyment and by the uh, experience gained by the participants during their deliberations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Ajit, uh, for IIT Rookie. Uh, next, uh, please uh, extend your, uh, uh, you know, with our uh, warm welcome to the Council General of India and Jeddah, uh, His Excellency uh, Moshe He, allowed to give uh, an opening remarks. Welcome. of the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, Professor Ajit K. Chaturvedi, Director of IIT Roorkee, Dr. Daniel Felis, Director, Core Lab and Research Infrastructure in Trost. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good, uh, good, warming, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, sorry for being, the, for being late, uh, but at the outset, I would uh, like to convey my deep appreciation and gratitude to COST to um, uh, to give, give me this an opportunity to be present before you and to uh, attend this uh, amazing workshop on semiconductor. Uh, I will briefly highlight the progress uh, in the semiconductor sector in India. Uh, I am very much happy, happy and delighted that such a workshop is being conducted uh, by the scientific and academic community of both the nations together. I am especially thankful to the IIT Roorkee who has taken this initiative uh, for the partnership between the uh, two in the great institutions in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and in India. In fact, the future of uh, our countries is not only dependent on how quickly we innovate, but how we are able to um, quickly adapt and participate in the next generation of uh, uh, innovation in data, AI and other technologies. I am glad that the focus of both the countries is in the, is in the right place in this regard. In India, in the past decade, we have witnessed revolutionary developments when it comes to digital India initiatives. The way India connected to 1.3 billion people through financial inclusion, banking and digital payment regulation is unparalleled uh, in the world. We are investing in developing capabilities in 5G, Internet of uh, IoT and clean energy technologies. These developments would not have taken place without a robust semiconductor industry. India has set ambitious goals and missions such as National Electric Mobility Mission, National Optical Fiber Network, which is the world's largest rural broadband connectivity program using optical fiber, National, National Solar Mission with a target of 75 gigawatt capacity by 2020 to this year and the world's largest LED bulb distribution program called Ujala Scheme, which <coughs> aims to promote the efficient use of energy. These goals and missions have necessitated the use of semiconductors at a large scale besides its strategic applications. The successful achievements of the targets in these goals and missions is directly linked to the development in the field of the semiconductors. Hence, the government of India is having a special focus in the research in the field of semiconductors. Our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, in his speech on the recently concluded Independence Day has said that there is a necessity, necessity to add Jai Anusandhan, which is research and development, to our famous slogan of Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, and Jai Vigyan. We have revamped and improved our regulatory frameworks, investing ecosystem, and investing ecosystem and taxation, among other things, to facilitate the environment for the growth of semiconductor sector in India. The government of India has recently announced the Semicon India program under the Make in India initiative with a total outlay of over 10 billion US dollars. India's consumption of semiconductors is expected to cross 80 billion dollars by 2026 and 110 billion dollars by 2030. With the right policies and support from the government and contribution from the private sector, we have been able to develop an exceptional semiconductor design talent pool which makes up 20% of world semiconductor design engineers. Amongst all the 25 semiconductor design companies, 
uh, have their design or R&D centers in India. In this regard, the industry academic linkage is important for innovation and knowledge transfer. I am sure that the talks and discussions in the compound semiconductor workshop will be very fruitful and sharing of the experience and knowledge will help in enhancing the research and developments in this field and cooperation and collaboration between the two institutions of the IIT Durki and COST will continue in future as well. I am also happy to uh, convey you that uh, the premier institutions like uh, IIT is also planning to establish one of the centers in the kingdom and we uh, um, uh, and, ins uh, and inshallah hopefully we are making a rapid progress in this direction so not only the physical um, uh, move, uh, uh, person movement of person from IIT here but also in fact the possibility <coughs> of one of the premier institution centers in the kingdom as well uh, this is uh, uh, there is already advanced talk and hopefully in the future we will see I one of the centers of IIT in Riyadh with these words, I conclude by once again expressing my deep sense, of, deep sense of gratitude and appreciation to cost and all our and all involved in the organization of this event for giving me the honor and the opportunity to speak at this conference. Thank you. Thank you so much.